So now we're going to talk about the Pythagorean theorem. And uh, this is mainly uh, to solve right triangles only, only for right triangles. So you see this indicator here? This is, means right triangle. And it's 90 degrees, OK? And that's all you need to know. This is a, a pre-algebra kind, of kind of an example. Uh, it's a very important concept because when you get to geometry, when you get to calculus, pre-calculus, and solving a lot of just weird shapes here and there, you're going to have to know this theorem. It always should be sitting always in the back of your mind. When you hear the word right triangle, that's what you're thinking. It's one of the things that you should be thinking about. So I'm going to give you a couple examples. Uh, but first, let me introduce uh, what Pythagorean theorem is. It's basically the two legs squared. So the first leg squared, we call that A, plus the second leg squared. It could be either one. You can interchange it. It doesn't matter which leg you want to start with first. You can call this leg one or leg two. You can call this leg one, leg two. It doesn't really matter. They're just legs. Okay. So A squared plus B squared, the leg squared, equals to C squared. C squared is the hypotenuse. Okay. C, let me uh, 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 rephrase. C is the hypotenuse, not C squared. C is the hypotenuse. Okay. And it's always the longest side. That's how you tell which one's a leg and which one is hypotenuse. And uh, hypotenuse actually comes from a Latin word. If you actually know Latin, hypo. Hypo means to extend. So this is the longest line. So that's where some of these words come from. You'll learn a lot of algebra words. Like even like when you see the words consecutive, it means to follow. So consecutive following a number. But just throwing some Latin trivia. But anyways, um, so let's do an example. So it's just to find out the lengths of the sides of a triangle. And here's the first example. So what if you have 8 as one leg, 15 as the other leg, so how do you find this side, which is hypotenuse, right? So you just basically 8 squared, right, that's A, plus B squared, okay, that's B, right, right here, right, equals C squared. And then you just do some algebra, okay, 8 squared is 64, 8 times 8, right? plus 15 squared, which is 15 times 15, which is 225, equals to c squared. And then just add the numbers up. And then how do you solve that? c squared equals 289. What do you do? Well, the opposite of square is square root, right? So you take the square root of that, and you will get 17. The square root of uh, 289 is 17. 17 times 17 is 289, right? So that's how you do this problem. So the answer is 17, OK? For the hypotenuse. Now, here's another scenario. What if they only give you the, they give you the hypotenuse and a leg, and now you got to find out the other leg? I've seen a lot of this come up a lot. A lot of students, like, they know how to do this, but when they get to this, they get lost. They're like, oh, how do I do that? I don't know what to do. So it's just like algebra. That's why you understand how to set up problems. So they tell you that, you know, the leg, first leg, 10 squared, right? You don't know what the other uh, uh, leg is, so you can just call it b squared. Let me separate this so you can see it's a different problem, okay? Equals to what? 26 squared. Now, 10 squared is 100 plus b squared, okay? And uh, 16, I mean, 26 squared is, um, let's do this really quick. 56, 1, 676. Okay. All right. So 100 plus b squared is 676. And then you subtract 100 on both sides, right? And then you do the same thing. b squared equals 576. So how do you get rid of the square? Square root. You always do the opposite. And then the square root of 576 is this 24. So 24. And that's how you do Pythagorean theorem. And it's a very important uh, concept to remember. So it's not one of those things that you learn right now and you never use it again. You could lose, use it on a lot of different maths, so never forget it. Uh, there are other the uh, uh, another math that you can forget a little bit, but this is not one of them.
Uh, I'll explain as I go. Thank you.